Hello, my lovely friends. Many of you have informed me that you have subject specialization exam for English in the month of June. And here I am to help you once again. This video is about a very easy topic. And we got two or three questions about it. And I'm sure you are also going to get it because my friends who appeared for cycle two exam, they also inform me that they also got some questions about this topic. So stick around with me till the end of the video because after explaining the topic, I've included some sample questions as well. So let me unfold the mystery. This video is about the topic of skimming. We got uh, two or three questions about it, scenario based questions of course. And uh, in the next video, we can talk about scanning. So let's not wait any further and see what I have in store for you. So this video is extremely helpful for all the teachers who are going to appear for the subject specialization test for English. We got a question about skimming and scanning, but uh, to avoid the confusion, I prepared a separate video on skimming and next I'll be uploading a video about scanning. So in this video, I'm going to explain uh, what skimming is, uh, what are the functions of skimming and then we'll practice some sample questions. So let's get started. Uh, just subscribe to my channel a humble request and whenever you watch a video please hit the like button it's a humble request because it's very important for my stability on YouTube okay. thank you so much so let's see what skimming is all about Sim skimming means to look for important information without reading the whole text just remember these keywords in your mind tag this information in your mind skimming means that you don't read the whole text the entire text for information you just preview the text features you read the first sentence of each paragraph to have a general idea of it or a few words of the last paragraph to know who what where and when like the key features of the text basically skimming is a reading technique meant to look for main or general ideas in a text so you have an overview of the text with the help of skimming technique without going into detail and exhaustive reading so in skimming a reader reads only important information but not everything remember these keywords you don't read everything and we we got two or three questions related to this so you are definitely going to get a question in your subject specialization exam so you must know the discrimination the difference between skimming and scanning so you should be able to discriminate the difference this is the technique works effectively in non-function materials newspapers and long novels so uh, this part of the information we'll focus in the next video so that you get you don't get ideas mixed up so let's focus on skimming only in this video so what's the function of skimming you can get a question about this because we got a question about this uh, what to read while skimming you read the keywords and you ignore the details. You read the bold words or the headings or the subheadings uh, or the titles and you find the last sentence of the paragraph just to link the uh, ideas together. So the function of using skimming technique is to get an overview of a text. Remember this word when you want a bird's eye view of a text, a general idea of a text, you do skimming. and to get uh, acquainted with the main points of the text but not the information from A to Z. Skimmers move quickly through the text ignoring and skipping paragraphs, sentences and words together the important information or the necessary information without wasting their time. So remember the keywords that I've highlighted and you're definitely going to get a question about it. So what's the purpose of skimming? Simply to see what the text is all about. Why do we skim? Sometimes while doing the comprehension, we skim because we just need to have an idea that what's the entire text all about. So we go through the keywords or the subheadings of the first paragraph, second and till the end, just to have an entire idea about uh, the whole paragraph and to link them together as well. Glancing through the text and to find the gist. When you want to have a gist of the whole text, entire text, you just glance through it by skimming to satisfy a general curiosity when you want to you're too curious but you are short of time to go through the first paragraph this is the technique basically you do while doing comprehension that uh, you can skim through the text to have a general idea about the uh, theme of the text not to find answers to particular questions to summarize longer text in order to summarize longer text in you know in a shorter version you go you use the technique of skimming so when you use skimming technique, 
You use this when you want to read quickly and just to get the big picture or the big idea. For example, selecting a new book to read. When you want to read a new book, uh, you can skim through the details of the book or the chapters to see whether it caters to your interest. Only then you select the book. Similarly, you go through, you skim through the headings of a newspaper to see which news article caters to your interest, and you can read that. For example. Uh, let's say I'm interested in weight loss, uh, weight loss articles, so I'll just skim through the headlines and I'll see that, oh no, this headline is about political news, I'm not interested, this is not my cup of tea. Uh, another headline is about sports news, I'm not interested at all. Oh, the third news article, the headline is about weight loss, the weird trick, uh, weight loss trick. Okay, I must go for it, I'm in. So this is how you skim through the different uh, headings and you chose the one that catered to your interest your interest but you didn't go through the news article a to z and then you decided skimming helped you to decide so this is just an example for you to understand what skimming te technique is all about and how can it help you as a reader so you can skim by looking at the pictures and illustrations you can read table of contents or the topics mentioned in the index and you can read topics and the concluding sentence to see which topics are catering to your interest and you can only read those so let's practice some questions. Uh, you can get similar questions or definitely you are going to get one question about this. So what sort of reading is skimming? Is it quick reading or is it slow reading? If you have watched the video from the beginning, I'm sure you're able to make out your answer. Uh, drop your answer in the comment section below and I'll definitely respond you and answer you. I'm sure you're able to answer this question. Uh, if you skim a newspaper, what are you doing? Are you reading the front page or are you seeing what's in the newspaper to decide which article to read and which to discard? So answer your question in the comment section below and I'll definitely answer you. So your next question is what sort of reading do you use to find out what's on TV today? Is it skimming or is it scanning? And I'm sure you know that your correct answer is A because you skim the TV program list to find out what's on today. So uh, I'm sure all of us have been doing this and you're very clear about it. Uh, I'm, you're definitely going to get a question about it. So best of luck and I know you're going to make it happen. You're going to succeed in answering all the questions in the correct manner in future also. I'll keep on uploading short videos to help you prepare for your subject specialization exam. So this was a short video to help all of those who want to uh, prepare for the subject specialization exam. Share this video in your circle of friends with all those who want to appear for the subject of English. And I am sure you are well acquainted with the topic. This is the easiest of all and uh, tomorrow I will be uploading a video about scanning and sample questions as well. I wish you the very best of luck. Before you leave, please hit the like button. It is very important for my motivation and drop some feedback in the form of your uh, comments and I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, best of luck and do inform me about your results when you get the good news that you've successfully passed the exam.